Overthinking pop culture from a theological point of view, welcome to Swear or Prayer. Like a Prayer was the first song released from Madonna's 1989 album Like a Prayer. Like a Prayer the song was Madonna's seventh number one US single, where it stayed there for three weeks. It also reached number one across the world in countries like Canada, Spain, New Zealand, the UK and Australia. Written by Madonna and Patrick Leonard, this was a new, personal approach for Madonna's career. No longer targeting the youth market, the then 30-year-old material girl cast her net wider, wider not just in audience, but in musical production. Like a Prayer incorporated elements of gospel, funk and pop rock. The song evokes themes of mystery, identity, faith and sexuality. It is the music video where most of the controversial stuff happens, mostly due to the conflation of sexual and spiritual themes, also due to Madonna having a kiss with a prominent South American Catholic saint, and the burning crosses too. It is possible to take the lyrics in isolation from the music video, though the music video takes its cues from the song. We see this when Madonna enters the church and closes the door. She is singing the words at the end of the first verse, It feels like home. In an interview with Rolling Stone, Madonna explained, once you're a Catholic, you're always a Catholic. So what are we looking at here in this song and its video? It certainly is not a condemnation of the Catholic Church. Home, the church, is where Madonna's character runs to. If we take the music video's narrative, there has been a crisis of conscience. A man of colour has been arrested for a crime he did not commit, and Madonna's character can prove this injustice. But can she find the strength to do so? While life may be a mystery and everyone must stand alone, when our name is called by the divine being, will it not feel like home? To the church the woman Madonna is playing runs to. Here is where we meet the Catholic saint, who looks a lot like the man arrested. Yes, it is a Catholic saint, because this is not Jesus, but the South American saint, Martin de Portis. He is played in the video by Leon Robinson, who also plays the man arrested at the start of the video. I am old enough to remember the confusion, and back then I also thought that was a black Jesus, and I thought it was cool. Martin de Porres was a Peruvian lay member of the Dominican Order. He is the patron saint of mixed race people, barbers, innkeepers, public health workers, and all those seeking racial harmony. Martin was barred from the priesthood due to his mixed parentage, those in charge were willing to ignore this and permitted Martin to take his vows of membership. Martin de Porres was an active and powerful member of the order, working tirelessly for the poor and the sick. Many miracles were attributed to Martin, walking through locked doors, food miracles, cures, and talking to animals. It is not surprising that St. Martin is used in this video clip's morality play. What was controversial was the kissing that happens. Both are supposed to be within the dream of Madonna's character. In this dream, she is struggling with her decision whether or not to come forward. She is convinced due to an ecstatic meeting with the saint where they share a kiss. When she awakens, her resolve is strengthened, justice comes to fruition, and all the players take a bow while the gospel choir sings the chorus. What controversy. In 1989... For American The Jesuit Review, Andrew M. Greeley covered the brouhaha, mentioning that only those who come to the music and lyrics with a grim determination to find prurience and blasphemy can miss, and then with considerable effort, the God hunger that animates them. In a Rolling Stone interview of Madonna's best music videos, the entry for Like a Prayer is titled How to Offend Every Bigot in America in Just Five Fiery Minutes. That is pretty much it. If your ideas of faith in God are that laser focused, you will find fault with everything and anything. If this is not a swear, then what are we looking at? What kind of prayer is it like? When I was at theological college, there was a focus on spiritual formation. One of the major themes was opening the toolbox of faith that was handed down to you. Students were given room to explore and review the traditions they were given. It caused a few issues at times. Madonna grew up in the Catholic tradition. Catholic guilt weighs heavily on her, which is clearly shown in her interviews from 1989. Along with guilt, what also permeates the Catholic faith is a visual, sacramental tradition. Greeley points out this paradox within those growing up Catholic. Perceive the paradox, he says. Catholicism, in its present formulation, passes on to its children, 
both obsessive and imprisoning guilt and a liberating sense of God's love as sacramentalized in creation and especially in human love. It is a paradox struggling to become a contradiction. What Like a Prayer reveals for Greeley is that the visual sacramental imagery of Catholicism used by Madonna is contrasted against guilt. While Madonna in her interviews talks of guilt, the music video contrasts this with Catholic visual sacramental cues. Sexuality is a consistently cautionary, taboo and complicated area in all of Christianity. The first kiss is a very chaste kiss, especially when you consider Madonna's other videos. In this video, the experience of God's love is chaste, parental, consoling, correcting and uplifting. The other kiss is obviously more sexual. This kiss is explained by Madonna as a conflation where the character frames the ecstatic experience alongside past sexual knowledge. This is a common conflation that occurs in the reading of art meant to describe spiritual ecstasy. Benini's sculpture of St. Teresa of Avila is often seen in a sexual way. Greeley goes further, indicating the visual cues and past traditional connections made between sex, life and faith. He ends up pointing out the criticism of sexuality in Like a Prayer is closer to the heretical belief of Jansenism. Jansenism saw sexuality as a creative mistake. Madonna is named after Mary, the mother of Jesus, Theotokos, the God-bearer. God entered this world via the sexuality of a woman. Life is surely a mystery. When we create a tight box to fit our faith, it often makes God or the creation God made less than it is. This is a person working out their future path, at the same time confronting the past. Madonna is 30, recently divorced. At the same age, her own mother died of breast cancer. This album is a testament to a person trying to find that treasure which will balance out past and future. Central to this is a Catholic faith that is heavy on guilt, yet has sacramental imagery that affirms life, love and connection to the deity as home. A faith that asserts a morality that affirms justice and speaking truth to power in the midnight hour, in the darkest moments before the dawn. Like Christ in the garden, we experience our dark night of the soul. When we are lost and searching for an answer, the mystery calls to us, bringing us home. Like a prayer is a prayer. There is nothing here I find insulting, denigrating or heretical. Madonna is an artist exploring the toolbox of faith that is being given to her. Unlike many who do this, Madonna can write this exploration on a global stage. There is a whole lot more in Like a Prayer than just being controversial. In five minutes, Madonna angered a lot of people. With a song about praying to God that features a South American saint in a morality play about false imprisonment due to racism. Like a prayer is a little prayer with a gospel choir ending that still slaps. Well, thank you very much. That's swear or prayer number two done. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, thank you very much and God bless.